Well, the, the first time I thought about going to law school, it had to be early in high school. I did a couple mock trials, absolutely fell in love with the preparation and all the work that it took to, before the case. And then during the case, the adrenaline rush, the, the thinking on your feet, all that added up and kind of sparked the idea of going to law school for me. Uh, but when I got into undergrads, I decided, you know, I think I want to be a police officer. So I started doing my undergrads at Grand Valley State University. Uh, for police officer, and then about my sophomore year, we had legal representation with my stepfather uh, over some immigration matters, and the legal representation, just the situation surrounding it, we, we weren't very happy with it. A lot of reassurances were given to us of don't worry, this will happen, this won't happen, and all the things that they were reassuring us that won't happen, happened. So right then and there, when, uh, I decided, you know, I'm going to go to law school, I'm going to have control of what my client can expect, and I'm going to let them know of all the dangers so that they can prepare for it. I started looking at law schools in undergrad. Uh, my biggest concern was proximity to my family. Uh, because my stepfather wasn't here, my mother, you know, needed a little bit of help, uh, and I, I couldn't realistically go off into a different campus and, and be, you know, a, a ton distance away from her because she needed me, she, she didn't have another you know, parental figure to help her out with my little sister who was, you know, she's 10 now, so she was six or seven when I decided to go to law school. And uh, my, my younger brother was not old enough really to step up in that role. So my biggest thing was the proximity. And the Grand Rapids campus here was excellent because we lived in Allendale we, and, you know, I commuted to Grand Valley here in Grand Rapids, so it just made perfect sense. And then when I did a campus visit and saw the facility, I fell in love with it and then hearing from all the other students about how well, how good the professors are here and how much they work you, uh, it just made perfect sense. My advice to prospective students coming to Cooley or to any law school is really put in the preparation and the work it takes before class. That's where a lot of the, you know, make or break happens. Uh, a major reason for the success I've had in law school was the friends that I made in law school and the review sessions that we've held together. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll go to the, the what we call the dungeon, which is the library, uh, the downstairs rooms, and we'll just spend six hours reviewing all the concepts, thinking of all the scenarios possible. And if I'm teaching them, they're learning, and if I'm able to you know, teach them the concept, that means it reinforces my confidence that I understand the subject. And because of that, you know, I go into the final exam with a sense of confidence that I do understand this. And being able to re reinforce these skills consistently doing review sessions just helps you internalize the material. Uh, one of the quotes is they say, um, teaching somebody is the best way to learn something. So that I've just taken that and I've embraced it and, and used that to find my success in law school. The experience has been phenomenal. Um, there's a saying there that uh, talent is distributed equally, but opportunity isn't. And here, Cooley gives everybody the opportunity to flourish and to show their, showcase their talents. Um, here, the professors have been top-notch. They come from great backgrounds of legal communities, uh, and they really do work you uh, and make you not only a better lawyer, but a better person and a better human being. Uh, they care about not just yourself in, in the classroom, but how are you doing mentally? How are you doing outside of the classroom? How's your family life? And it just it shows that they, they take a step above uh, the regular teaching.